Welcome back all my painting with a purpose friends. Today we are going to start with a black canvas. So if you have not painted your canvas black already, go ahead and pause the video, paint the whole thing black, let it dry, and then come right back. The colors you're gonna need are purple, blue, yellow, white, and black. We are going to be painting an octopus this morning. So we are gonna start with the color white to outline our entire octopus. I'm gonna use my medium round brush Remember, you're gonna need a large flat brush, medium and small round brushes. I'm gonna start with my medium round brush and white paint. I'm gonna start by making just a partial circle up here at the top corner of my canvas. Now, from there, I'm going to make, you ready for this? It's like a backwards letter J. Okay, this is gonna be his neck and his body, and this is his head up here. And this backward letter J, we're gonna make it go really long and kind of organic and just fall off the canvas. This is going to be one of his many arms. From right here at the base of this letter J, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of drop it off towards the bottom. About midway up the top of this curve, I'm gonna add a curly cue. It's like a wave, doesn't it? Then I'm gonna come right back down here to where this crease was and I'm going to go over a little bit and extend this line out right here. So this right here is gonna be an entire part. This will be one right here. Let's add one more arm in. Right here in this big open space, we are gonna draw a line that goes up behind that first tentacle and kind of rolls around. Now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and paint this entire space white. I like to give our pictures a white base to them so that when we add our color on, it's got a nice bright background. So the color is really vivid. You don't have to worry about being super neat with this because we are gonna be painting this octopus blue. Now you are more than welcome to change the color of your octopus at any point. If you want yours to be yellow and red or green and purple, it's really your choice. I'm picking mine to be blue with purple dots and a yellow detail. Now that my entire octopus space is white, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and when we come back, we're gonna add some fun colors to this guy. Now that your octopus should be dry, we are gonna cover this entire octopus with blue paint. So, it doesn't really matter how you do it, I'm gonna use my medium flat brush for the big spaces and my small brown brush for my detailed corners, but you wanna cover your entire octopus in blue.
So now that we have our entire octopus blue, we're gonna add a couple of details to it so that we can kind of tell the difference between all of these little arms over here and just some details on the head. So with my medium round brush, I'm gonna grab some purple paint, okay? And I'm going to outline the bottoms of all of my tentacles so I kind of know where I'm looking at. So I'm just gonna take this right here, right along this bottom, and I'm gonna stop when it hits this other arm. And I'm gonna blend this in so that while it's a little bit darker, it doesn't look like a big purple line on his tentacle. So all I'm doing is putting the purple on, wrapping it around, and then pulling it up in that circular motion until it just kind of disappears. Wash that brush off, and I'm gonna do it to every one of my tentacles. So for example, this one right here goes all the way across that first, that other guy. So I'm gonna put that purple on there and just kind of pull it up until it disappears into that blue. purple on the brush again. I'm gonna pull some of that purple up here at the base of this corner, just to give it a little bit of depth. Wash that really brush off really well. Now we're gonna add some highlights. So with that same round brush, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in blue. Then I'm also going to grab some white. And I'm going to paint at the top of my octopus's head with this blue and white mixture. Just putting some on there and then watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it down along this edge. I'm gonna kind of try to follow that line all the way across. When I get towards the middle, my paintbrush will be going straight up and down vertical. I'm gonna go back up top with the white again, and I'm just gonna make sure that that top is the lightest part. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the tops of each of my tentacles. Just dropping a couple of white spots on it so I can easily blend those in. I'm gonna skip this one down here because there's a shadow on the top down there. Now let's talk about some details. First things first, we need to get this uh, octopus some eyes. So what we're gonna do is we are going to give this octopus purple eyes and I'm gonna use my finger for that. I'm gonna take my finger full of paint and right here, I'm gonna make a gigantic ovalish, circleish eye. But you know what, this next one, I'm not gonna see the whole thing. Wipe my finger off. And we're gonna let those dry just a little bit. Looks like I might need to grab my little baby brush to, to finish off this corner, which is fine. Wipe that finger off. And let's give him some details on his tentacles. 
So for the details on the tentacles, I'm gonna make mine yellow and I am still gonna use my finger to do this. So with just a little bit of yellow paint on the top of my finger, not nearly as much of the purple as I had, I'm gonna go along those purple lines and I'm gonna add polka dots. Now, if your purple's too wet and it's showing through, give it a little bit of time to dry and go back and do it. But I'm just gonna add some purple polka dots. I mean, yellow polka dots along my purple line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my medium round brush. I'm gonna add a couple of white lines and I want you to watch where I put these. So I'm gonna put these right here in this base area and I'm just gonna make some lines that just kind of pull out from the middle of this octopus out towards those tentacles. These are gonna be really soft, gentle lines. It's just gonna kind of show where his body's starting to break off into tentacles. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint on my brush and I'm just gonna go over his eye and then under it. With my itty bitty baby brush, I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint. I'm gonna go underneath that eye to give it a little bit of a shadow, just a small amount. Now I wanna give some detail to the top of his body. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to use yellow paint on my finger. You guys, I love finger painting. And I'm going to make what actually looks like a teardrop shape. And at this point, I'm gonna let my painting dry a little bit before I go back in and add the final details on the eyes and the polka dots. So my octopus is just about dry. There's little spots that are kind of wet still, but we are gonna move on. So to finish out these details, what I'm gonna do is with a little bit of purple paint on my finger, I'm gonna drop a dot right down at the base of each of these teardrop shapes. And I'm also gonna do it at the bottom of each of my circles. With my itty bitty baby brush, I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm going to 
what I like to call ghost lines. And that means you kind of outline it, but you kind of don't see it all the way. I'm gonna ghost line all of these. So I'm gonna kind of add a little bit of a detail, but I'm not gonna outline the whole entire thing. I'm also gonna do it to these round pieces right here, but I'm gonna make these just be right on the edge, not going all the way around, just in, you know, just random spots. talk about these octopus eyes. What we're going to do is we are going to add a small highlight at the top of the eye inside of that purple. It's a curved line. And then with black paint, I'm going to make a little U shape. And at the end of that, I'm going to draw two little lines that go up and down. Let me zoom you in so you can see that a little bit better. And this one right here, I'm just gonna have that little line with a little line down. Now, if your purple's really dark like mine is, what you can do is you can add just a little bit of white at the very top of that U shape and those lines. Just to lighten it up a little bit so you can see it. Zoom you back out. And this fun deep sea octopus is finished. So the next thing you need to do is grab a color that will show up on your background. Sign your name. Don't forget to post it to our Facebook page. It's Painting with a Purpose. You can also follow us on Instagram, painting.with.a.purpose. And don't forget to share and subscribe to our Facebook page so that you can be kept up to date on all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for painting with me today.